What's good, everybody? What's goody good? Uh, trying this out, this new angle. So we are on our way. Ah, I say we a lot because uh, you guys are coming along with me. But uh, we're off to TX2K. It's currently 10:51 on March 12th, Tuesday. Let's get it. Well, first things first, we're gonna grab some gas. Uh, just like I did last year, I want to try into, uh, oh damn, is that a Ferrari? No, oh, that's a vet. That's so crazy, these vets, when they look like Ferraris now. Anyways, <laughs> first things first, we're gonna go grab some gas. I wanna track what the gas mileage is on this thing. See how much we're getting compared to last year. And, uh, yeah, just this is gonna be a really basic drive. Probably won't document too too much. So I'm not in the Subaru, and it just it doesn't hit the same, you know. Uh, but economy wise, this K the little K24 should get way better gas mileage than the Subi did, and I don't have to put premium in this thing. So this will be truly interesting to see what this. What is this a 13 year old car? No, 18 year old car. I don't know. It's 2005. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we getting some gas. Put in 50 bucks. I don't know if it'll take it all. That's what she said. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So y'all don't know where I'm heading. This TX2K. Um, it's like the Super Bowl of drag racing, basically. Lots of GTRs, Audis, R8s, Huracans. Um, Hondas, like the fast Hondas. <laughs> um, hopefully, it's going to be a great turnout. It actually started today. So, like qualifying grounds and stuff started today. So, uh, a little behind. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, I think. So, that should catch everything up. So, hopefully, I get there tonight, find a nice place to stay, get some good rest, and then start the day at the track. Giving y'all great content that I know y'all love oh so much. So, and let's get it, man. Let's see what this comes out to. That's a loud truck. <laughs> well, it looks like it only took 44. We're gonna put in 45. That's cool. That's another, you know what I'm saying? Seven, six bucks, you know what I mean? That I can use on some food, yeah. Off to a late start, but we documenting all kinds of stuff. I got cameras everywhere, bro. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm like a Google car, like, got cameras everywhere. <laughs> but. Off TX2K we go. I'll see y'all in about 10 to 15 hours. We in the country. Yeah! <laughs> hey, we behind a Maserati. Hey, you know what though? These cars don't hold value. These are like the most cheapest exotic cars you can get. Like they don't hold value. Like they depreciate like half when you buy it. Like when you roll off the lot. Look them up. Maseratis aren't as expensive as you really think they are. So I honestly, I would probably take that Tesla over to Mazi. I ain't gonna lie. Because one, I'm a dad, so I need the extra space. And two, I'm pretty sure the Tesla's gonna whoop the Maserati's ass. Um, we can we can debate that if you want. I ain't got nothing but motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Who would win? Who would win in a race? What 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 what? Which one would break first? Okay, now that was not too bad. Got a little Porsche and all them damn Trailblazers. Good gosh, with the doo doo yellow. <laughs> That's, what That's like the movie Longest Yard. Oh, jail. Where is it? Ah! Gosh, damn. Both of them look like he's sleep, too. Man. I understand you do what you gotta do, but that little Fiesta or whatever the f that was, that transmission finna be toast. Toasty. Well, everybody. I made it to St. Louis. Uh, I need to be looking at my 
GPS, but I wanted to document this at least. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's get it. What's good, everybody? Update, update, update. I am in uh, just past St. Louis, St. Louis, and I am just pulling over here to grab a bite to eat, trying to find a quick place. I really don't like to sit down and all that stuff when I'm on the road. I got 10 hours left currently still. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, about four hours on the road so far, just a little over half a tank. So not doing too bad. I found a Chick-fil-A, but I don't know how the hell to get in here. <laughs> it's like, oh Lord, there's so many entrances, but it's not to that one. Oh, here we go. Hey, time to eat. Catch y'all in a minute. So a cool little thing about when you travel around, you use apps uh, for food places if you're eating out. Um, they usually give you like a welcoming gift, especially Chick-fil-A. Um, so they gave me like a free um, chicken sandwich. And when I hit another city, they gave me like a free um, chicken biscuit for like the breakfast time. But obviously I didn't stop. And when you claim them, you can actually keep them and use them anywhere else. So when I left the city, I passed Avon in Indianapolis and they gave me a free chicken sandwich. Um, that was actually yesterday. So I was like, oh great, I'll use that for later. So right now, as you can see, uh, it's cutting out, but you can see it says free right there. And then I'll just buy my drink and some um, fries and then go from there. But just a little hack for you guys, if you didn't know. Um, so I'm gonna spend um, what is it five bucks not bad you know and the whole combo is gonna be like eight or nine bucks nowadays so save yourself a you know a little bit of money you know that's that's gas so uh, by the way I kept you guys updated I did not actually update that but we're exactly at 600 miles which is kind of crazy and we're just a little bit after the halfway mark or halfway mark half tank and that's not bad because it was forty four dollars to fill up um, I did not get to get a printed ticket because it didn't come out, but um, I can look exactly how far I am real quick and see what's our miles per gallon. Okay, so according to my GPS, I have been on the road uh, for four hours and, no, for about three hours and 43 minutes, and I've gone 251 miles. Um, so let's see if you can see that there. Because what I did was I put in where I was and um, where I'm at right now. So we'll do the math real quick and find out what my mile per gallon is. <laughs> okay, so if I did my math correctly, this thing's getting like 35 miles a gallon right now, which is crazy, <laughs> which is absolutely crazy. Um, 35 miles a gallon is absolutely crazy because yeah, I'm not used to that. So. All right, I'm gonna pick up my food. I just put in a mobile order. I'm gonna swing around, grab it, get back on the road. It says I'll be there at like 12.30 or so a.m. And I forgot, Texas is an hour behind you guys too, so I'm gonna be there pretty late. It's all good. I might have to sleep in the car too, because they don't like you checking in that late. Might have to sleep in the car until I get something in the morning. We will see. All right, so it's been maybe about an hour and a half, close to two hours. I'm having to pull over because I'm getting tired. I didn't get the right amount of sleep last night. So I'm gonna pull over, head over to this Love's gas station or McDonald's, give me a little something to snack on. Um, and I'm gonna grab some air too. The front tire's looking a little low. And uh, just get myself up again, you know what I mean? These long drives, man. You gotta make sure you're prepared for them mentally and physically. So let's get it. The light finally came on, so you already know how I get down. Let's push the limit. Let's see if we can touch the beginning of the right corner of E. Can we get to E? Of course we can get to E, but can we get there? Can we get to the corner of the right side of the top right of E? Let's try it. So uh, I, I think it's safe to say I, I, uh, um, I got it to E. So uh, let's go find some gas. All right, so nearest gas station is 20 miles. I hope I don't fry the, I ain't trying not to cuss. I hope I don't fry the damn fuel pump. Oh my God. 
my gosh, big ass bowel. Oh, I feel that cussing thing. Anyways, I'm doing like 70, which is still the speed limit, so we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see in the next slide. Am I on the side of the road? Or am I at a gas pump? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Out here in the country, smelling like straight manure. Oh man, where are we gonna end up? I'm still kicking right now. She. All right, well, like always, I made it. Um, I literally, I see it. The chances of me running out of gas, like right up the street, is slow, low, slow, low and slow. Um, I'm out in some country ass town though. Like, I, like I'm whispering because I'm, I'm like so out of place. I think. <laughs> Oh, gotta love it. I am here though, so this is gonna be fun. It's only like four pumps here, and it's packed in here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Let me, oh, all they got is 87 gas too. Really quick, I made it, I made it. I, I'm, I got gas, right? This is the views, this is the views. Very pretty. This sun is sunning, like, hang the fuck on. Okay, I'm gonna get off the phone though because I'm in this country ass town and I don't know what a cops be hiding and I could be speeding, I don't even know. So I'm gonna hop off. Love y'all. This thing is getting confirmed 35 miles per gallon. And y'all wonder why I got this thing. Because I knew, man, let me tell you. It was presented to me first, so I took that as a as a sign. You know what I'm saying? David, I appreciate you. Because, yeah, you reached out. And I know you're gonna see this. <laughs> Uh, number two, I knew that this car was going to be great for my YouTube platform. It was something more relatable than the Cadillac, obviously the Cadillac RP. And three, it had a K-Series. So if whenever the day comes that I choose to put power on this thing, I very well can. Will it handle it? Probably not. Will I need to go to a K24A at some point? Maybe. But that, that is so far down the road. We got we to gotta worry about the Subaru first. So that thing is coming along. So I'll, I'll just say that. Um, but yeah, man. And then obviously it's a little rough on the you know the exterior, but internally wise, this thing's pretty solid. Like we're getting 35 miles per gallon right now on this thing, and it's an 05 with 248 thousand miles. Better go get you one. Better go get you one. <laughs> well, but anyways, yeah, that's kind of why. So we'll do some body work to the car. Eventually want to wrap it. I want to learn how to wrap on this car because it's a very, like, very basic car. It's not a lot of curves to it. So, yeah. Of course, this is stuff later on down the road. This is not stuff I'm putting as a priority at all. All right, so um, I have not been keeping track um, in landscape mode. I've, I've been every, doing everything vertical. Uh, it's just habit. I am currently in Oklahoma, uh, about to touch down in Texas uh, state line, and I got about three hours left. It is 12 o'clock uh, my time, but it's back an hour, so it's about 11 o'clock here. And uh, yeah, we're just scooting along. This is one of those stretch of roads that the speed limit is 80 and I feel so wrong but the speed limit's 80 bro like it's crazy I'm in cruise control like and we've already went through half a tank well it wasn't really full so but that's crazy keep the mileage though bro I really went like okay first of all these lights I love them absolutely love them Type S at AutoZone, you can get them. And then uh, I will be putting um, Oxido high beams. Those are the high beams. Those are the regulars, insane. Uh, but I really wish y'all could see what I see because the stars, oh my gosh. Because there's no city lights. Dude, it, it looks crazy. This is just your reminder go outside go out to drive in the country 
with your little lady, you know, you know, your wife, whatever, and go look at the stars, yo. Like, it is so weird. And I really wish you guys could see what I could see. Another random uh, casino. <laughs> random AF, man. Choctaw. It's nice. Damn. All right. So, about an hour from Dallas, and I'm here at Bucky's. I'm trying to get me a little hotel now. I think it's crazy. Remember the annoying birds from last year that were up here? It's like they added these little things so those birds can't sit up there no more. <laughs> but uh looks like this isn't a kicking spot for people. I just had to come to this bathroom get some food. Probably not gonna find a kicking spot tonight. Hey, but at least I'm here. Find a place to sleep. And then uh start my day. Track is hot at I think 9:30. So if I can find somewhere, get a shower, get my stuff set up. Oh yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning for damn sure. But God is good. We here in Texas now. Let's get it. And if you haven't been to a Bucky's, let me go ahead and turn it around for you. It's Big AF. They got brisket and all that over there somewhere somewhere over there yeah it's over there so but yeah it's like a walmart uh neighborhood walmart pretty much but they got barbecue brisket and stuff so we got to get some of that right now <laughs> hey man you remember that a banana put him in fire here they got all that they got the drinks and then they got there you go. Small section, because it ain't busy right now, but it's usually busy during the day. I grabbed me a pull pork, you feel me? And a, and a uh, banana pudding and some waters. <laughs> all right, I don't know what I'm gonna just let y'all go, but I'll let y'all go then. All right, after a long day, I've been on the road since 11 o'clock. So technically it's two o'clock in Indy. So let me show you the digs though. King bed, workstation. I'm gonna cook up some stuff for work. Um, cooking up on the laptop. <laughs> uh, send some stuff to work tomorrow. Uh, and this will probably be where I just work. Um, getting footage, couch, pull out couch. So if anybody wants to make up their mind and come up here, I can have you stay here with me for, for low, hella low. So if you want to come on up, boom, there's that. We can share a room together. Whew. Let's see. We got the fit check. Hey, hey, I, I drive comfortably, bro. Big belly gang, you feel me? Boom. You know, that's pretty basic. Pretty basic. It's your boy, Big Belly Gang. That motivates. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna hop in here right now. Gotta go subscribe to my only. <laughs> I, I kid, I kid. But, see y'all tomorrow. Peace.